What's going on? You are guaranteed to love today's video because I'm talking about there's no trip with just the tip. Shout out to Maurice for that one. See, don't you think it's high time to go balls deep? I'm talking about all the way in balls deep into the experience that is life. Life is meant to be an adventure. It is absolutely meant for it to be enjoyed and experienced and explored. Life is a beautiful unfolding. It's wild. But what we've done is we've allowed the culture and the society we live in to basically create this motherfucking nine to five grind. Five days a week, I'm working hard for the weekend, unless I really want to be successful, and then I need to do six to seven days a week. It's a crazy world in which we're living. And the truth is, the vast majority of the exploration of the adventure has kind of been just sucked out of humanity. And I want to give you three specific things that will help you start to adventure again. First thing we need to do is we need to begin exploring our passions. Explore what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about something, you know what the bottom line is this, a lot of people that forgot what they're passionate about, they don't even know what they're passionate about anymore. Some people have just settled down with being passionate about being a fan of something else sports team or person and that's fine if that's really what you're passionate about but for them for most people that's not really what they're passionate about that's what they're settling for so to what I mean by explore your passions is I mean really ask yourself what gets me excited in this moment what gets this person this idea excited in this moment and then begin to explore that in order to begin to explore your passion, some of the things you might need to do, and the first thing is stop chasing the dollar. Stop chasing money. Now, money may come as a result of what you're doing, of that exploration of passion. But if you're doing it for the money, you'll quickly find that you're no longer passionate about the thing, that it becomes just work, just another job. To monetize what you're passionate about is not difficult in our day and age, especially here in America. But let's be real. If you're chasing the dollar, you're going to end up stressed out. You're going to end up feeling like it's going to end up feeling like work. And you just don't want to go down that road. The second thing we need to understand about exploring our passions is to explore the curiosity that's found in those passions. In other words, why am I passionate about this? What is it about this thing, whatever it may be, that's getting me excited in this moment? And allow curiosity to kind of be your guide. Allow it to kind of direct you as you're exploring those passions. And don't allow our culture or society to tell you what you should or should not explore. Be willing to take some risk here. Every adventure, every true adventure comes with some risk. So be willing to take some risk. The second thing we need to do to really start experiencing life as an adventure is to follow the high. That's right. Follow the high. Be, and what I mean by that is be willing to be led by the inner ecstasy. If you don't know what inner ecstasy is, there's a whole list of videos. There's a whole bunch of videos I've done on that inner ecstasy, on the high that I'm talking about. I'm not going to explain that in today's video. But I do want to just clarify so much of our life is spent out here. And not a lot of our life is spent in here. So when we follow the high, we're not looking for pleasure outside of us, outside of the moment. But instead, we are experiencing the pleasure within and allowing that pleasure to guide us. So I'm super, um, uh, for instance, right now, I could be super high experiencing this high, and I'm allowing that high 
that feeling, that glorious, uh, euphoric sensation of peace to guide me through this video, which I'm also passionate about. Because I'm passionate about changing lives and about helping people and about just genuinely seeing the world come alive again. Third thing. <laughs> chill out. Listen, you're talking to the guru chill here. Just chill the fuck out. Learn to slow down. We are in a culture that is always in a hurry. So odds are when I said explore your passions, immediately your your mind like, yeah, 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 I need to find my passion, I need to find my, oh, my goodness gracious. Sit back and chill out. One of the ways you can chill out is by beginning to change your mannerisms. Now, if you're interested in changing those personalities, sculpting your personality, changing mannerisms and things along those lines, or really becoming an entirely different person, almost like a snake shedding its skin, then I encourage you later this year, I don't have a link for it right now, but later this year, I'm gonna be doing some classes uh, that are a course specifically on personality sculpting. And it's gonna give you, it's gonna be a deep dive into these things if you're interested. So be on the lookout for that. But when I say chill out, I'm like, stop. So slow, slow the fuck down. When you slow down, you start to experience more. When you're enjoying something, don't rush through it. If you're enjoying some food, slow down and really savor the flavor. Savor the food. Why are we in a rush to consume? So slow down and just chill out and enjoy it. And here's the biggest and probably the most important key of all to really seeing life as an adventure and really partying hard, playing hard on this beautiful playground. Number one secret, stop taking shit so seriously. Stop taking your life so seriously. This is what's got us caught up in the rat race in the first place. We're always trying to get that next best thing, live that middle class American dream, whatever the fuck that is. And instead of actually pursuing pleasure and our passions and our joys and following the inner high and really just touching each moment in a deep way, we're just running out here like this. Oh, I gotta go get more money. I gotta make it. I gotta make sure I get that nice little white house with a white picket fence. No, slow down. Chill out. Stop taking stuff so seriously. I promise if you stop taking shit so seriously, you'll find, man, things just get easier. And you'll be much more willing to risk your finances, to risk that dream house, to risk the car because you won't be able to afford the car payment or whatever. You'll be much more apt to make those risks that will lead to adventure when you stop taking shit so seriously. So listen, here's the deal. Stop just inserting the tip and go balls deep into this moment, into that thing that you're passionate about. Why are you just putting your toe in the water, checking out the temperature? Run into that thing and do a motherfucking cannonball into that bad boy. I promise you it will be worth it. I promise you the adventure of a lifetime is in this moment right now. Apply those three, three things and your life will absolutely change. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click the bell if you want to be notified of new videos that are coming out. And uh, remember, there's one, one more thing. What is that? What is that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The more you awaken, the more you play. <laughs> Thank you.